Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your 3DS or 2DS for version 11.16.0.49, which is the latest version. I'm using a new 3DS for this and I will link you the guide I'm following in the description. If you run into any issues, I'll be starting an FAQ at the bottom of my description with the solutions to problems you might run into. For this tutorial, you'll need a micro SD card or a regular SD card depending on your model. Formatted as FAT32, which if it's above 32 gigabytes, there's a video link below to show you how to format it. You'll also need a way to download files onto that SD card and for your 3DS or 2DS to connect to the internet. If you're using the 2 to 4 gigabyte SD card that comes with the 3DS, after you homebrew it, if you decide it's too small, you can always upgrade to a larger one by copying and pasting the files to the new one, so long as it's formatted as FAT32. I will have a link to the 64GB micro SD card that I'll be using in the description along with other products I use. So to get started, go to your system settings and make sure you're on the latest updated firmware. As you can see, I'm on 11.16.049. If you're not already on that version, uh, go ahead and update your device before moving on. But once it's updated, go ahead and go to your friends list and we're going to grab our friend code. So if you don't have a me created already, just go through the process of creating one and then head over to it and just below your name, you should see the friend code right there. So take a picture of it or write it down. We're going to need this on the computer shortly. But once you have it written down or a picture of it, you can take out the micro SD card of your 3DS and plug it into your computer. I can't be the only one that has a challenge trying to get this thing out. <laughs> ha! Got it. Let's head over to the computer. Once you have your micro SD card plugged into your computer, uh, if you open it up you'll see a Nintendo 3DS folder. Go into the second folder and we're going to grab our ID0. This is just the name of that folder that the numbers and letters. So just copy it and I'm just going to pull up my notepad and paste it there to use for later. Once it's copied, go to the first link in the description for Brute Force Movable. It should take you to this page here where you can see it's asking for friend code and ID0. So just go ahead and put in your friend code. And then grab that copy and paste of the ID0 and place it into the second option. Just press go and then it'll give you a friend code that we need to add on our 3DS. But while we do that, make sure you keep this page open. So you can eject your SD card and put it back in your 3DS. Once you're back on your 3DS, go back into the friends list and select the me that you used to get the friend code earlier. From here, just press the add friend icon in the top right of the bottom screen. Click on internet and type in the friend code that the website gave you from Brute Force Movable. Once it's typed in, press OK and it should add a friend. And if it asks you to name it here, just name it anything you want and press OK. And once you see that new friend in your friends list, you can turn off your device, take the SD card out and plug it back into your computer. Back on the Brute Force movable site, you should see this loading bar. It says it can take up to an hour, but mine only took a few minutes, so um, if it's taken a while, just let it do its thing. But once it's done, you should have an option to download movable.sed. So click on the green button and it'll download the file in the bottom left of your screen. Once you have that downloaded, go into my description and click on the second link. It should take you to this Google Drive page where in the top right just click the download icon and it'll download a zip file in the bottom left as well. Once that's done, go to this third link in the description and we're going to take this movable.sed file and create a couple different files that we from it. So drag it onto where it says choose file and click build and download and it should download DSIware exploit zip. And once you have that downloaded, uh, let's open up our SD card and get it set up. So open up the Funky Scott 47 download package, go into the first folder and into the second one, highlight and drag everything you see on there onto the root of your SD card. You can close that zip file now and open up the DSiWare exploit zip. You'll see two files here, bb3.bin and food4d5.bin. We're going to drag the bb3.bin file onto the root of your SD card. 
Now go into your Nintendo 3DS folder, go into the first folder and into the second where you see these files and you're going to create a new folder and call it Nintendo DSiWare. Now make sure you spell it right with the proper capitalization or else it may not work. So capital N, capital D, capital S, and capital W. And once that folder is created, take that food43d5.bin file and place it inside. And once you're done, your SD card should look like this and it is ready to put back into your 3DS and, and let's get set up on there. Once you're back on, go into your system settings, go into data management, DSiWare, click on micro SD card, and it should bring you to the Banner Bomb Multi Hacks menu. From here, just click A and it should install unsafe mode and turn off your device. And when you turn it back on, hold the R button, the L button, up on the D-pad, and A, and turn it on. Almost like playing Twister, <laughs> kind of difficult. <laughs> but once it turns on, you'll see this page, connect to the internet and update system. Go ahead and press OK. Press I accept, click OK, and it'll try to connect to the internet. Once you get this air code, uh, that's fine, that's what we want. Just press OK on it, press yes, select connection 1, go to change settings, use the right arrow to go over to proxy settings, click it. Click on Detailed Setup. It should load you into the Safe B9S installer. And once it loads, complete the key combination on the top screen here. And once you do that, it should begin installing Bootstrap 9. Once it's completed, just click A and your system will reboot and it'll go into the Luma 3DS configuration page. And from here, just click the start button, it'll save and then reboot your system. Now your system should boot into Luma 3DS. From here, go into your system settings. Click on data management, DSiWare, and micro SD card again. It'll take you back to the Banner Bomb Multi Hacks page where we're going to use the D pad to scroll down to uninstall and click A. And this will reboot your system, but when it turns back on, just turn it off and take your SD card out and we'll go back to the computer. On the root of your SD card, go back into the Nintendo 3DS folder, into your ID0 and into the ID1, and go back into the Nintendo DSiWare folder we created earlier. Delete this food43d5.bin file. We don't need it anymore and we don't want it to accidentally be causing any issues on our 3DS. Once you've deleted that file, you can take your SD card out of your computer and put it back into your 3DS and start it up. And once you're back on, click and load download and play. Once you're here, click the left button down on the D-pad and select and it should load up the Rosalina menu. The D-pad to go to miscellaneous options, click A, and then click A on switch to HBL. Press B to go back, press B again, and once more, it should take you back to download and play, click the home button, and close the software. Now go back into download and play, and you should be in the homebrew launcher. Now it may seem like we're done, but we have a few more steps to do. So click L, down, and select at the same time, and it should bring up the Rosalina menu again. Now go down to miscellaneous options, go down to dump DSP firmware, click A, and then click B, go up to nullify user time offset, click A, and then click B, and then B again, and we'll go back into the homebrew launcher. Load into FBI, and then once you're here, click A on SD, go to CIAS, click A on current directory, 
go to install and delete all CIAS click on yes and it should install FBI and the homebrew launcher once it's done just press any button press B press B again and then hit the home button and close download and play now you'll see a couple different presents on your home screen you can open them up you should and the homebrew launcher and then you can turn off your DS when you're restarting it hold the start button and it should boot into God mode 9 if it gives you this prompt to create an essential files backup just click a press a again and then click A if it asks you to set the date and time and set it to the current date. Press A to continue and then once you're in the menu, click the home button, go down to scripts, press A, and then click on GM9 Megascript. Scroll down to scripts from Palix Guide. Click on setup Luma 3DS to CTR NAND, press A to continue and then press A to unlock system NAND and then complete the key combination code that you see on the screen. Press A when you're done. Once it's successful, press A and then scroll down to clean up SD card and select it. Press A and then when it's squeaky clean, press A to continue and then press B to go back to the main menu. You're going to see backup options selected and we're going to do our system NAND backup. So press A on SysNAND press A and then it'll begin. Now this will take a little bit so be patient and just let it do its thing and I'll meet back when it's done. Okay when it's complete just press A, press B and then press B again and click A to relock write permission. Now on the top screen scroll down to SysNAND virtual and press A. Go down to essentials.exefs, press A and then now on the bottom screen, scroll down to 0GM9 out. Press A. If you see designation already exists, just click overwrite files and press A to continue. And press the home button to go back to the menu and press A on power off system. Your NAND is now backed up, but the only way it's going to be useful in case you do brick your system is if we place it on our computer off of our SD card. So let's go do that. On your computer, Go into your GM9 folder, go into the out folder, and here is your NAND backup. Over on the desktop, I'm going to create a folder called 3DS NAND Backup. And just highlight everything in this folder and drag it into that new folder we created. And once that's transferred over, you can delete the two .bin files. You don't need them on your SD card anymore and it'll save some space. And once that's done, you can eject your SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS and let's check it out. Congratulations, you have now successfully homebrewed your 3DS and it's ready to be used to its max potential. And if you're interested in learning what your 3DS can now do, I have an entire playlist which I will be making videos consistently for to teach you what you can do including custom themes, homebrew apps, and emulators, and more. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more, please like the video and subscribe. And if you found it really helpful, you're always welcome to donate using the super thanks below the video. My Discord server will also be linked below if you would like to join. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to the next tutorial. Goodbye for now.